you're going to think in terms of how to prepare for the quantitative section in CAT. And uh, the quantitative section is the elephant in the room. Uh, very often it's the section that requires the maximum preparation because there are lots of topics, it's a fast thing. So I'm not going to so much focus on what to cover, which topics to cover, which schedule to follow, as, as to focus on how to prepare for a given topic. So what is the idea of, suppose you think, say, how, how do I learn for geometry? What do I do? Given that you've selected the topic, how do I go about preparing for that topic? Right? We're going to follow a three-step process, very simple. Learn from the fundamentals, learn from absolute basics, learn the theory very clearly, be very sound on concepts, be very clear about that, start with that, then move on to what we would call, what I would call the drill. Just look to lots and lots and lots of questions to, to automate some of the practices. What you're doing on geometry, drawing up the diagram, understanding the language, uh, figuring out the jargon, what is inscribed, what is circumscribed, what is the median, what is the midpoint, what is perpendicular. All that should become second nature. Once you've done this, then step it up and then go towards the benchmark questions. By benchmark questions, I mean questions of the level of difficulty that you're likely to see in the exam. So the process is three steps, fundamentals, drill, and then benchmark. Learn the basics well, then crank it up and do a lot of practice, then go ahead and do the benchmark questions. Obviously, it's iterative. So you're going to do the concepts, go and do drill. At some point of time, you're going to say, look, I get this topic, let me step it up, and then go and do the tougher questions. Very often it will so happen that you do the drill for some part, go to the tougher questions and then realize there's some concept gap, some funda gap where you're not really cracking something, come back to the theory. And so the, the, the common errors that I usually find in quant is, uh, is, is either you ignore the fundamentals, just go jump in and do lots of questions, in which case you're going to get pipped in one or two questions where the level of difficulty is higher, where they want some nuance that you've not bothered to learn. So don't do that, don't be in a hurry to complete this. You do the basics well, the drill well, speed, accuracy, conceptual clarity, all of that will fall in place. You can complete this entire syllabus for quant in 120 hours. So very imminently crackable. This is not fast. Very narrow range of topics. So don't rush, don't bypass step one. If you bypass step one, you get cut off. You can have a plateau. You can do all kinds of simple questions really quickly, but you don't have the lever to do the tougher questions. Don't bypass step one. Step two is what will speed where a bunch of things become automated, where you can look at a quadratic equation and straight away you know the roots. You don't have to factorize and split the middle term. All that is built in. So, so don't, step, step two builds automates processes. Lots of things just comes naturally if you do step two. It's like learning driving. In learning, you need to know where your accelerator is, where your brake is, where your clutch is, how to plug the, plug the gear. But if you drive 500 kilometers, then a bunch of those things become part of muscle memory where it gets automated. That is very important. Before you go and say, look, let me draw, drive in a tough terrain or, or do something tricky to the vehicle. So get to automate process. That is very vital. Speed building happens with the grind, not by doing really tough questions, but by doing the nice, simpler routine ones automatically. And so that's a three step process. Uh, which topics to focus on, which sh what schedule to keep. All that we have done at different components and look at, read the articles, and read the, read the, look at the videos. But the, the method of going about learning a given topic, that is very important. Very often I find students bypassing one step.